Right, we're going to have more investigation. This one there, Zulu. <coughs> right, Zulu means sky. Right, that's an interesting yeah, little piece of knowledge. Especially when you've got this you know, sky television, which is one of the biggest worldwide uh, TV companies, you know, in the whole world and that type of thing. Yeah. Which uses a name, I'm not sure if this sky is there. Uh, I think that's the Italian sky, I'm not sure if it's the same company, but they use a the name anyway, right? So you're talking about the sky idea, you know, the Zulu idea. So again, you're talking about some type of voodoo where, uh, you know, I think I put it in relation to, uh, you know, spells and the uh, hex and all that. And then you have Amazulu, spellbound. Amazulu. Obviously, like, uh, you know, group, pop group of what you thought were females, you know. What we used to think was females. You see there, tattoo the snake on the, the arm. And you can hear, you know, back in old days and that, you would never guess there was a trans or not. But you can hear, <clears throat> see the trans and like in the snow, you know. And there, uh, and look at the whole group of them, you know. Teaching us, but here, yeah, spell bone. You see what I'm saying? Hex and spells, obviously. And yeah, look how trans that one is. Yeah. That one's got a scorpion on its arm. So, again, you know, these are here. Uh, that one's got real blue necklaces. So, again, you know, it's the type of uh, the codes of it being the trans is we. These are the um, Amazulu tribe, according to this. Amazulu present. Yeah. And there, look at how they carry the canes, you know. They've all got these canes. And then, um, look at these, like, sort of like giant large pins type of thing, you know. Like large pins, needles, like that, uh, caduceus thing, and all that, see? And I'll carry them a bit, and they try. And you have this read the religious system of the Amazulu by Henry Collier. Missionary of the Church of England. And the uh, describes the beliefs of the Amazulu people, and it's from 1870. Zulu people. Uncle 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 was the name of the, the, the uh, god in the, the Zulu and that first ancestor figure, you know. Yeah, with the Cain, Cain and the evil idea, you know. See, like the 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 Cains are carrying the Cains. He has a bit of Cain, the ancestor's idea, you see. The Uncle Uncle. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of interest in the uh, this stuff, you know. The Kianetti, <laughs> the Kianetti. <clears throat> this Kianetti says this the religious system of Amazulu among the essential documents of mankind. So, you know what I mean? As I said before, these uh, upper class type of idea uh, I'm totally obsessed with the uh, like African stuff and that you know Zulu and that Quakerism in the medical field Sacred, 
with a sacred uh, attached to them or not. Medical magic and witchcraft remedy. So they're straight into the tea drinking idea. And the medical magic with a 33 mm. Straight up there. Uncle Uncle. The Gardner idea, I'm not sure if it's here. Lawrence Gardner or something. The one that was in there, it does the Royal Bloodlines here, books and that. Ancestral worship. A bit of TH here, everywhere as well. Like. Cube, here's the cube. Drinking milk. So as you can see, you know, interesting little tea. Definitely tea drinkers out there, like. Divine and rod, of course you got a divine and rod idea, so you know. The bath idea, you know, the yeah, the trans bath. So hundred percent here, you know. Tea drinkers. The magic of oof fucku. So you know. As you can see, pure tea drinkers. Administrator. There's a need with a phonetic alphabet read. I should have pointed this one out with a font, you know, the phonetic alphabet. I figure could be a significant lot about words, right? Most you know, the whole you know whole world is basically like and then um, interestingly the Z and yeah, it is a Zulu, you know. And they say military phonetic alphabet, not Zulu. So obviously that's quite an important idea to make right? Zulu, you know. Bravo Zulu. Zulu Zulu Zulu. Emergency could. Very uh you see a lot of history of tea drinking in old Gaelic. Pan pan. Bantus. Is it morphological classes or genders? And then you got this here, uh, interesting, no interesting little booklet. There's Lee Feinberg. Obviously, they the Masonic here. <laughs> Symbols and that straight off. We transgender warriors. Again, you know, stone butch blues. So obviously, you know, they're uh, not a well sort of nod that they can be, they can be warriors and that stuff like that. You know, they're well aware of their own stuff and that, you know what I mean?
17th year, even 19th centuries. You have MP. Yeah, MP. Warrior man, guard for war. MP, yeah, Masuasha. Straight really know that is type of thing. Nahanda. Nahanda. Yes, it's been a gun about the Zulu ideas. It's very bang in the Zulu ideas. Shaka. Shaka. Sigiri. Jama and James. Very uh, no, that's a bit funny good like James Yeah a little bit similar to the King James idea like really and there are dates in that Jama can You know, so very interesting code, like, uh, very gems, like. And then, the practice ritual circumcision, of course, we know what that's a code for. Zulu royal family. Royal house and turmoil. Now Zulu royal house. For the Zulu Fun Royal Horse Tea. And this Prince of Wales meets Zulu Royals. <laughs> nice bit of a lion's poor hand shape or something. And again, you know, that uh, this type of giant pin idea, you know, like a giant needle basically, or a large needle. Of course, probably laughing about the hex of this, you know, because that's obviously what that famous movie and that great big battle scene and all that. Of course, he'll be laughing, sharing it as a hex. Again, again, there's a giant air pen idea, you know. There could be, you know, a lot involved in the, uh, you know, what goes on in the West, basically. Huh. Again, yeah. love these giant needles, like. 